Welcome yet again to another episode of Dinner Guide. My name is Chef Andy and today I have something particularly interesting. We're going to be doing some simple assembling of a death by chocolate cake. And for that I have some ingredients that I'm going to be working with. So I'll just start by introducing them. So in the bowl here I've got some beautiful chocolate vermicelli. I also have some beautiful uh, toffees there. I also have a nice block of dark chocolate and a bit of cocoa powder. I also have some dark chocolate cake that we had made earlier and is what I'm actually going to use to show you how to get by in making a very simple to assemble death by chocolate cake. I also have here some whipped cream so this has been whipped to stiff peaks. I also have here a nice beautiful container that I'm going to use to actually assemble the whole dish and just a ring here to be able to cut through. And to the, the last but not least here, I've got a bowl here that's sitting right over some hot water. This is some dark chocolate that's already been melted down, which I'm actually going to use two ways, which is to garnish and second of all, to turn some of that beautiful whipped cream into a very simple chocolate mousse. So without further ado, we are going to slide into a short commercial break now. And when we come back, we're going to go straight into this and I'm going to show you how it's done. So please don't touch that dial. We'll be back shortly. ladies and gentlemen so as I mentioned earlier on we are going to be doing some very very simple beautiful things today and particularly we're going to be centralizing most of the things we're doing today on this beautiful month of Valentine's remember it's a month filled with chocolate a month filled with sweet appetizers and pastries and I'm going to be showing you how to make a very very simple one that you can actually be able to assemble yourselves with the ease of just grabbing some of the ingredients that we have here, you can actually be able to get some of them already uh, ready in your convenience stores. But this is just a very simple technique of taking you through the assembly. So as I mentioned, I'm going to be working with just a few ingredients here. And uh, we're going to start off first by combining our mousse. So I'm just going to grab a spoon here. And we're going to start off by just separating our cream. So I'm going to put a couple of dollops of cream into this bowl. All right, so we're just going to separate some of that beautiful whipped cream and then reserve it for later. In the meantime, I'm also going to be turning this particular very, very simple uh, uh, mixture into a mousse. And it's very, very simple. All you're going to use is a bit of cream so in here I have a bowl of cream that I mix with just a little bit of vanilla essence and we just whipped it with a whisk you can be able to use any of this particular whisks I have I have one pl plastic one here I also have a metallic one which is also a very very good and handy option so you can actually work with any of the two if you have a cake mixer or a handheld blender you can actually do the same thing you will actually get just the same so I'm going to start off by grabbing some of my chocolate i'm just going to grab this ladle and now a very very simple technique to just be just to fold your mousse i'm just going to grab one slotted spoon and some of my chocolate here so you can you actually have the option to use either a spoon such as this one or you can actually work with your whisk i prefer to use this so very simply, I'm just going to add just one ladle full of the melted chocolate. And I'll just start off by folding with my whisk. So basically all you're doing is turning it just around the bowl as you go around. So remember this will turn that beautiful uh, 
it will basically just turn that beautiful whipped cream into some beautiful ganache filling. So I'm just going to mix that through. Just shake off a bit of that excess. Always be sure also to not waste any of the one that's left over in your whisk. So very, very simple, uh, quick and easy ganache. Next up, we're going to go into now the process of assembling our dessert. So as I mentioned, I've got the same tin that this was baked in. I just covered it in some cling film on the inside. And now all I'm left to do now is to begin assembly. So I'm just going to turn that onto the board. And I'm, easy, I'm just going to, let me just move those to the side so you can get a view. So I'm, all I'm going to do is I'm going to start with one of the ends. So basically this was a whole kg cake. I just cut it into three slices. So very, very simply, I'm going to start off with the very, very most inner layer. Remember, this is the layers that are, this is just exactly how they are going to assemble themselves to the top. So I am going to just take you through it. So I've already got the bottom layer, I've got the middle layer, and I've got the top. Now remember, you, what you're looking at is inverting the cake so that you can actually not be able to tell which side is which. So very, very simply, all you need to do now is just grab that top layer that's the thickest and most stable. And all you need to do with that is place that with the, with the, with the shinier side on the top. So that'll just go straight into your container. Just give it a nice firm press. And now all you're left to do now is start by uh, assembling everything together. So I'm going to quickly just grab my mousse mixture. Just be sure to grab all the mousse mixture in there. Be sure not to waste. Remember chocolate is a very pricey commodity. simple as that and all you're left to do now is to use your spoon and just work your mixture right around the sides like that and remember your mousse is a very very light mixture this is particularly why I'm going with that in there first right simple as that can actually grab another spoon and just use it to scrap off the excess that's remaining onto your spoon. So just grab that. And as I said, always be sure to work with a couple of spoons. Remember, it's always a little handier and it's also a little easier. Right, so just using a regular teaspoon, spread your mixture over that surface and be sure to just level it out to your best of your ability. Simple as that. Next off, we're just going to go in with the next layer. I'm just going to turn that around just like that and place it right in the middle of the bowl. And I'm just going to use my hand to firmly press it in. This is just basically to try and really get that to sink into that layer of mousse. Simple as that. And all you're left to do next is just grab some of your whipped cream, about three uh, large tablespoons should do, and just begin by spreading that over the surface of the cake. Right, simple as that. You can actually just have your spoon sitting on the side. And I always insist, don't discard your spoons until you get to the last process because you might actually go and end up wasting all your cake. And now last but not least, the last and final layer. So that goes right over the cream. And now very, very simply, all you're left to do now is just cover this up. And basically what you want to do is actually allow this to chill in your fridge uh, for maybe an hour to two hours 
or you can actually chill it overnight and serve it the following day. So I'm just going to use my film to just cover that and just continue to do the same until I have most of the cake covered up. Alright, so simple as that. Now this is now going to go into the fridge. We're going to allow this to set for just a little bit. I do have another piece that was actually done in advance, which we're going to pull out now and I'm going to show you what it looks like. But before we do so, we're going to slide into a break really quickly. We're going to clean up this mess and when we do come back, I'm going to take you through the process of how this is finished off and we're going to be working with just a bit of some whipped cream, a bit of that beautiful cocoa powder, some of that toffee, some of that beautiful vermicelli and last but not least that beautiful that dark chocolate which we're just going to grate over. So we're going to slide into a break now so see you after a short while. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. We took a short break and we were just finishing off our beautiful cake here and we're just about now finishing it off. So I'm just going to turn this around and just let you see what it looks like. So as you can be able to see that's a, that is one of the many one, one of the two that we had actually made in advance and it's now nicely set. But I'm just going to revert it into the tin and I'm just going to start off by portioning this out so to help me with that I've got a nice beautiful uh, food ring here a mold which I'm basically going to be using so I'm just going to start off by just pressing it in from one end and just give it a turn and just begin to lift slowly and as you can see it slides out really really well and all we're going to do now is set that over the plate here and I'm just going to do that with another two another one piece right a bit of a messy job but definitely pays off so just lift that second piece as well and that goes onto our plate Just to bring you up to date with, uh, for those of you who are just joining us, just to bring you back to scratch with what we were doing. We're basically making a death by chocolate cake. So this I'm just going to move into the fridge here. So we are making a death by chocolate cake, very, very simple. And we're just about finishing off the layered cake bit. So in there we've got some chocolate cake, some chocolate mousse. And last but not least, some cream chantilly, which is just cream with a bit of sugar and vanilla. And now we're just going to go ahead and finish this off. So first up, so you might actually be wondering what the particular uh, rack on the table is and why the plate is underneath. Remember, we're just going to use that to just cover our desserts with a bit of chocolate. And the idea is to basically lift it off the plate to allow the chocolate to just pour over really easily. So I'm just going to grab my ladle. I'm just going to spread it off the top, like that. And all you need to do now is just allow your chocolate mixture to run right over your dessert. I'm just going to continue doing the same, right around until they're totally covered. Same with the other piece. So this is a more a more easier way of trying to get your ganache right around your frozen or your fridge set dessert. And it actually works really well in the fact that you don't actually waste that much chocolate that runs off. You can actually just trap it on the plate and it's 
very easily to actually recover that uh, bit of chocolate. Right, so simple as that. Next up, I'm just going to move them onto my board and I'm just going to continue just finishing those off. So up next, I have a bit of some cocoa powder. So I'm just going to sprinkle that onto my sieve and just dust lightly. And the dust will just always just do its job. It's just going to run right over your desserts and cover them really, really well, as you can see. Right, simple as that. So step one done. Second step, a bit of some chocolate vermicelli right over the top. So this will just definitely give it that beautiful chocolatey finish that we're looking for. Right, simple as that. Now I'm just going to start by lifting this onto a clean plate. I'm just going to use the help of a knife. So you can actually be able to do this with a, a cake lifter if you have one, but since I don't have one at the moment, I'm just going to use a knife to do so. So all you need to do now is just lift those nicely onto your plate like that. And just do the same for the other piece. But always remember to just try and detach it from the bottom. Remember your ganache will actually stick to the rack. So always try and detach it from the bottom before you finally give it a lift. That goes straight onto your plate like that. Very, very simply. Now next up, just to finish that off, I'm just going to first of all grab something here. Right, now just to finish those off, I'm just going to use one as an example and I'm just going to place that on our show plate there. I'm just going to leave that on the side. And just to finish this off, some very, very simple techniques of just finishing your garnishing. So I'm just going to place a couple of raspberries right over the top like that. And finish that off with just a bit of those beautiful purple blueberries and last but not least I could actually add just a bit of those toffees that I had left over so I'm just using some regular toffees but you're more than welcome to use anything that really complements a chocolatey finish right so toffees right over the top and just save that on the side and now just to finish everything off, a bit of some chocolate right over the top. And you can be able to see some of the many tricks that you can actually be able to use some of the tools in your kitchen for. For instance, just use regular simple grater that you can actually use to just make some chocolate shavings. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my version of a death by chocolate cake. I hope you've actually enjoyed it today and I hope you've actually been able to pick up something you can be able to put in your, uh, take into your own kitchen. I hope you've also learned something about some of the techniques of making a very, very simple assembled cake. And as I, sa as I said earlier, you can actually take time and make each of those ingredients yourself. You can actually get a very simple chocolate cake recipe off our page. You can actually also just grab some cream, whip it really quickly at home, a bit of vanilla, a bit of sugar, and you get a very, very good ganache. Fold a bit of melted chocolate in there, and it will give you a very, very beautiful chocolate mousse. So without further ado, I'm going to say goodbye now, and I'm going to bid you farewell. And until the next episode, I do ask you to continue uh, tuning in to the, the show. Also check out our Facebook page and our in our uh, YouTube channel as well, you'll be able to see so much more of what we've already covered and just bring yourself up to date. So from the studios and myself, have a lovely evening and see you soon.